Alright, talofa, malo ele, aloha. My name is Falgo Molinga, and I'm a school social worker and a parent with kids in public schools. Uh, I am also the first Pacific Islander to ever run for a school board here in San Francisco. And as many of folks know in San Francisco, uh, Pacific Islanders have been completely marginalized. But my platform is not only about Pacific Islanders, it's about an issue that impacts all of our students, and that's the opportunity gap. Now, there are three things that I know work when it comes to addressing the opportunity gap. The first is wellness. We have to get better at creating wellness policies and programs and services so that we can start to address trauma and mental health issues at an earlier age. We also need a wellness program that addresses uh, the holistic health care for our teachers and staff that work in the district because everyone's impacted by mental health. Uh, the second is building community schools. Now, community schools is very important because when it comes to our kids, we all have to be on board to put their priorities first. Uh, as a school district, the city and county of the San Francisco, and the community, that trifecta has to work when it comes to supporting our families. And the last is uh, we have to do right by our educators. We have to make sure that our educators have housing in addition to making sure that they're the highest paid in the country and be able to retire with uh, a plan that is able to afford them a lifestyle that they can live comfortably with. Now, I've been doing this work since 2006. For the first six years, I helped build a nonprofit in San Francisco to support young women trying to get into college. Now, that program actually was able to provide services for young women uh, up to 100 every single year, and 90% of those uh, individuals end up going off to colleges, colleges that uh, I couldn't even get into myself, such as Harvard and UCLA. A lot of those kids have actually come back to the city and invested their skills and experience to help build San Francisco today. Now, from there, I got asked to help build the first truancy school out in uh, the Bayview as well. Uh, that school has been around since 2009, and since its inception, it's graduated over 1,000 kids who were previously truant, uh, kids who have been, some have been out of school for like more than three years. Uh, it's a phenomenal program out in the Bayview. Um, then from there, I got asked to help build the first community schools up at uh, Burton High School, the first community high school in San Francisco. Uh, when we got there, the school was actually on the verge of shutting down due to attendance. In four years, we helped increase the attendance by 400. And we also helped address the dropout rate and decrease it by 50%, which was the highest decrease in the city within those four years. And I also worked on a project to help uh, young men understand consent in the schools. Uh, during that time, there was a massive thing happening in our country where student athletes uh, in high schools were raping uh, young women. And uh, we took charge of that in uh, San Francisco. And the program actually still exists today. It's a co-ed. Um, from there, I, I knew and I understood that uh, there were some things that I didn't know, which I needed to learn more about to really get to the heart of some of the issues that were impacting our neighborhoods. And then I went back to school, and I got a master's degree in social work with a focus on mental health, public education, and public housing. When I got out, I got recruited by RAMS to be a therapist at June Jordan High School. During that time, June Jordan had gone, under, had gone through a shooting at the school. And uh, I was a part of the team that helped triage uh, the students and the families to be able to provide wellness supports for the community. Uh, from there, I got recruited by the San Francisco Department of Public Health to help build uh, wellness centers in our public housings on the southeast side of San Francisco. Today, I'm a uh, clinician with the uh, mobile crisis with DPH. And I also work uh, at downtown high school once a week providing therapy with students that have been, been impacted by trauma. Um, my campaign currently is very, very strong. I am the only candidate that has been supported by the mayor, the United Educators of San Francisco, and the Democratic Party. I would love to be on the school board to support you and the families and kids in San Francisco.